And joining us is Pu Yong Hao, Chief Asian Strategist at UBS Wealth Management here in Hong Kong. First of all, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Good buddy. to see you, Yong Hao. <laughs> Good to see you. Um, there, there, there seem to be a lot of warnings, to be honest with you. You know, yeah. early this morning we saw another alarm set off mm -hmm. uh, among the regulatory regime in China saying you, you, we, we're going to pull back on lending. We had too yeah. much loose, fast, and furious lending yeah. last year. It ended up in the wrong places. Too much speculation, too much of a property mm -hmm. uh, asset bubble building. We got to pull back. Certainly, this is a wake up call, no? It is a wake-up call. I think you are right, absolutely right, that the U.S. or global uh, uh, Western uh, uh, various government is going to withdraw the stimulus. Mm -hmm. And in the end of the day, whether or not Asia can sustain its own growth is much, very much depends on whether or not we can foster mm -hmm. our own sustainable growth. Are we there yet? Is, well, is, is Asia self-perpetuating yet? No? Not yet. Uh -huh. We still need to nurture the sustainable growth by stimulus domestic consumptions mm -hmm. or a certain degree by investment, mm -hmm. which obviously you have to be in the balance, right? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you boost your consumption at the same time, you should not uh, sort of stimulate the inflation, which is a, a terrible phenomenon yep. in Asia right but now. But you know the Chinese already instigated a year ago, the $4 trillion renminbi yeah. uh, stimulus package, and now we've got some investment houses saying we're going to get 11 plus percent GDP growth in the PRC this year. If that is not a recipe for inflation, I don't know what it is. What do you think? <laughs> well, I think some houses are a bit uh, overly optimistic in terms of GDP forecast. We are forecast about 9% uh, this year. That's still very strong. Yeah, That's well, still ahead of headline growth. Because you but, have a low yeah. base and uh -huh. the stimulus hasn't fully used. The issue is not about uh, what level of the GDP growth, whether or not it's uh, sustainable. That's mm -hmm. the key issue. I think China or, or global economy need to rebalance the economy. Uh -huh. At the moment, I mean, w we see that the China overproducing, uh, oversaving, mm -hmm. and the U.S. or Western countries are still overborrowing and uh, overspending. Mm -hmm. This kind of imbalance hasn't been addressed yet. Uh, this, when, when are they going to? How are they going to get the people to take the stimulus? The stimulus. You know, if it goes into property prices, that doesn't get people to spend. It doesn't help the factories churn out more stuff for That's the why local market. You are right. I uh -huh. think the regulatory need to really to uh, rechannel the funds go to the real economy. If the funds only to the SF as the market, then as the inflation is going to cause the, the bubble and the burst and so on, and lots of miserable going forward, mm -hmm. right? Right now, I think the, the authorities rightly to, to be cautious about the real channel those funds into the real economy to boost the investment, boost the real consumption, help the peasants, mm -hmm. the farmers to, to spend more money. Mm -hmm. I think they are doing a bit of the right thing. I mean, look at the, the old for new uh, swap program, which help farmers to spend, cut the taxes for the farmers yeah. or low-income people. So I do you like the people theme uh, do you, at UBS? Do you yeah. like the people theme, the spending theme, buying durable goods, buying clothing, yeah. buying stuff for the people? Is that is that sort of the blanket themes? Asia consumption is the right theme. We mm -hmm. cannot depend on our export anymore. We have to spend ourselves to boost the economic growth. Uh -huh. that's, the, that's the theme. <laughs> we can no longer depend on the USA. We're